Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So overnight, Chinese shares sank right across the board. Um, the euro has rallied as uh, euro bond yields have, have leapt on uh, the hope for some sort of deal to be reached before the deadline. Most of the global equity markets are a little bit flat there. And you can see the US 30 <clears throat> just struggling to get above potential resistance at 18,112. Uh, not much to talk about uh, on that market today, albeit we had a whole raft of data come out of the US yesterday. Uh, if we just have a quick look at, look at the, um, the economic calendar here, I, um, ADP power payrolls came in broadly as expected. Trade balance was uh, better than expected, but then you had um, a lot of the PMI data that came out, and that actually came out worse than expected. So um, the state of the data w w was good, was good to mixed. Um, and that's not really done a huge amount for U.S. equities or help the dollar um, push on higher against any of the other majors. So looking at the U.K. 100, it's really struggling to keep its head above 69.06. Uh, looks weak on the intraday charts as well. Same with the Germany 30. U.S. 30 uh, intraday doesn't really look that strong either. Um, and today there isn't a huge amount of back on the data either. Um, so break of this potential trend line would be negative from a technical perspective with 67.71 be the next potential support should 69.06 fail to remain intact. Uh, Japan um, actually uh, yesterday was an okay day, didn't quite overcome the full body of the previous day's candle. We've been down again today. It looks to be that around about 26.67, uh, a short term potential uh, resistance. This looks like a pendant or a flag formation, which you normally get at the top of an uptrend. Uh, and we could be looking for some sort of breakout to be able to challenge 28.68, which is uh, you know, 12, 15 year highs. Japan 225 looks very interesting anyway. Uh, moving on to dollar yen, similar kind of picture consolidation that we're getting right here. Uh, 124.42 is a potential resistance. The tips of these candles, these spinning top doji formations, are indicative of uh, uh, a lack of willingness to move higher now that we're at this level. We need some sort of catalyst, and uh, there's still, you know, we could do with some really strong US data that would be good. Uh, news of Japanese stimulus would be good. Um, but because uh, it's had such a great run, I wouldn't be surprised if we just see a slow drift and a slow bleed without some sort of um, catalyst to get things going. Looking at Cradle West Texas, OPEC met. Uh, or is meant to be meeting again actually on the on the 5th of June but there's been some um, rhetoric coming out there as, uh, as the sessions look to get started basically OPEC not looking to cut production um, most analysts believe um, but they do think a fair value for a barrel of oil is 70 to 80 dollars um, they would of course say that incidentally um, considering we're only at 58 59 dollars right now uh, and we need to wait until Friday to see what really is going to come out of that, out of that session. But widely expected that there's going to be no cut in production. They're just going to reiterate what they believe a barrel of oil is worth and hoping that the market eventually will uh, settle a little bit closer to that. And we're talking about this time next year um, before you maybe get something quite as strong as that. Bear in mind it was all the way up 150, went all the way down to about 40 odd. Uh, so it's got a long way back to go. Um, bearish and golfing pattern yesterday, uh, down again today. Um, 56 57 dollars is the next potential support moving on to gold gold's probably not done a huge amount rather than move down again um so the data was mixed but it was good to mixed um with the trade balance decent adp okay obviously got non-farm payrolls on friday that might be the big catalyst to get things going should the figure uh come in wildly different from expectations it comes in as, as expected i don't really expect there to be a huge amount of volatility uh, but a really bad figure or a really good figure could kick things off especially in dollar yen and in gold as well so we're actually trading on the wrong side of 1186 right now so gold looks very vulnerable um with the next potential support level at 1137. moving quickly on to euro dollar euro dollar as we mentioned is having a great run at the moment probably one probably the tip of here what to be 114 115 uh is the next potential short-term resistance followed by 116. um because a deal feels like it's it, it's got to happen otherwise the uh, the alternative is just to too much hassle for the market to kind of deal with there's just so much at stake if if they start missing these um these, these payments it opens up a whole can of worms so there might be compromise made that would be beneficial to Greece. Blah blah blah. Bottom line is, should a deal be reached by Friday, which it should be, um, the euro stands to benefit, uh, and we're still at one twelve forty. 
which means there's still plenty of upside potential, certainly more upside than downside, unless, of course, there's no deal, in which case expect ex extreme volatility on Euro USD. So you've got non prime pearls on Friday, you've also got the deadline for Greece to pay back the money uh, to the IMF, so they're going to the Eurozone to get that 305 billion, uh, 305 million euros uh, necessary for that repayment and um, the move you've been seeing in euros perhaps indicative confidence that that payment will be made. Moving on to cable, uh, cable had a very strange day yesterday where it started good, sold off strongly and then pretty much finished where it started only to drift lower again this morning. Looking at intraday it's flat to lower uh, in between two moving averages 21.55 period uh, as ever one spot 54.24 is potential resistance one spot 51.85 is potential support other technicals are relatively neutral uh, pressure remains there's not a huge amount of data today if we just have a look um, we've got interest rate announcement which is going to be as expected and um, you've got employment claims at 1.30. Uh, that's usually a weekly uh, bit of data. That'll be quite keenly watched. And if we fast forward into Friday, manufacturing data, industrial orders from Germany, employment non-farm payrolls, obviously huge, huge number to be aware of. Uh, and everybody will be looking at that. Make sure you join our webinar uh, tomorrow to find out more. Keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool analysis here from Michael Hewson and uh, Jasper Lawyer. These are our two UK analysts, and uh, Michael in particular likes FX. And you can see Euro Aussie and uh, Euro Yen he's been talking about. And uh, insights, make sure you make that part of your layout and join us again tomorrow for the big non-farm payrolls day to find out what happens next.